Hey everyone! Okay, so this is something new that I am bringing to the table, and it is called Encouragement Episode 1, 2, 3 to like a thousand, hopefully. And what this series is going to be about is I will bring up a topic where it's relevant to each and every single one of you, and it will hopefully help you probably gain a new perspective and possibly encourage you, you know, to do better or to do this and that or to want something. I don't know. So, um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this series. And this is more of a serious series where if you're having a bad day or if you just want to know something that could probably lift you up, you know, give you some faith, something, I don't know, please watch this series. <laughs> so, this topic is going to be self-respect and taking care of yourself, then you will feel more confident, less insecure, and you will have the want to do more things and possibly make more friends instead of wanting to kill yourself. So the reason why I was um, encouraged to do this topic was because a sub of my BQ Fail Snipes said, Hey Kells, hope you can answer this. I'm 16 years old and a bit overweight. I'm afraid that I won't lose my virginity and I have like no friends in school except two which I don't talk to a lot. A while ago I planned suicide but I didn't do it, thank god. I stayed home from school, didn't give a shit about nothing, but can you answer any of this? Much appreciated. Okay. Hey there, uh, 16 years old, you are still young. And, okay, let's let's go in chronicle logic order of what you gave me in your sentence. You say you're overweight, and I'll be honest, a lot of Americans are because of the food that we are given to eat, you know? I mean, not a lot of people like to eat healthy because, one, it doesn't taste very good. And my number one suggestion to you all is to watch what you're eating because if you get overweight not only will it possibly i'm saying like realistically you know it, a lot of people won't really kind of go towards you or interact or even want to kind of date you it sounds messed up but let's be realistic would you date an overweight person right so um watch what you're eating exercise because physically you need to be healthy otherwise it can cause a lot of like diseases possibly like di being diabetic and you don't want that at such a young age so one please everyone watch what you're eating and exercise because at the end of the day the more tired you are the better sleep that you will get and you said that you're afraid you won't lose your virginity. So people, you guys really need to stop worrying about having sex because it's not everything. It can be as enjoyable as any other thing you choose to do. So there are other hobbies out there for you guys. And don't worry about it. The time will come. I mean, you're only 16. You have a lot of years to go. Sorry, I'm kind of directing this to him because he wants the, the insight. And you say you have no friends except two which you don't talk to. Two is better than zero. Go ahead and please talk to them a lot more. Go do things with them and you can definitely evolve in your group of friends just by having two because you can always meet new people just by having those two friends. And I'm sure that those two friends have other friends which you can get to know and don't worry about having a whole bunch of friends because I'll be honest I don't have a whole bunch either I have a few close friends that I have and I'd rather have close friends than a whole bunch of friends that I barely talk to so make sure those two friends if there's if there are you know people you like and enjoy talking to then that's great go ahead and pursue that and don't ever try or think about committing suicide because that does not solve anything okay instead of taking the easy way out like i said everything that i just told you to do is probably the best way to feel better about yourself because the harder people work the more better they feel and more accomplished they feel and even so whenever somebody accomplishes something there's like a reward at the end right 
and your reward is going is going to be self-respect and feeling more confident. So that's a good thing. And in the end, you'll make a lot more friends. And you say that you stayed home a lot and didn't give a shit about school. I'll tell you right now. For all kids and teenagers, school is the number one place where you'll you'll find a lot of friends and that's your social network right there. Even though online nowadays that is like a huge social network, but that's behind the computer. You're interacting with them in another way. But if you're at school and you know, you'll make enemies but as well as friends and Oh god, me being at school, I've learned so much about people, myself, and of course, the academic curriculum. And as a person, if you if you want to expand on making friends and even building yourself as a character, you will need to kind of step it up and just talk to people regardless of what you look like or the hobbies that you like or the things that you enjoy doing whatever same thing but in order to make friends you first have to literally like respect yourself because you're not not everyone's gonna like what you like to do or talk about what you like to talk about or even i don't know like what you dress in you know some people don't like the way you look whether it's fat or skinny but as long as you respect yourself and you like the way you are you feel confident about yourself and you take care of yourself by exercising or whatnot you will then find that same group of people who like to do the same thing not every person likes to be overweight and maybe some people don't care and they'll find their group of friends but if you even have the thought of committing suicide then it's time to change up your hobbies and it's time to actually care about something because if you don't care about anything you don't care about yourself so guys i i hope you all will eventually or already have and possibly continue respecting yourself and taking care of yourself and then feel more confident about yourself because when people are insecure it's not because of other people telling them hey you're fucking ugly or hey you're overweight even though you know i can see that it's like hey you don't have to say it but people like that are just being negative nancy's and you should know that by being in the world for maybe 16 years or even more that there are going to be people who are mean but there are people who are very nice and who will who will tell you it's okay if you're overweight all you have to do is work out or who will tell you hey it's okay if you don't have a friend I'll be your friend be yourself but even if you're if okay even if you don't like the way you are you can always change that and I've always been told that if somebody doesn't like what I do, there will always be someone else who will. And as long as I like what I do, that's all that really matters. So, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this first episode. And I will come up with more. So take care, okay? And don't let what anybody else bring you down. Because that really made me upset that you even thought about committing suicide. So take care, okay? And I would like to hear back from you. And by listening to this, I hope that you know that you've gained a friend because I'm definitely willing to be your friend.